This was a pretty serious situation. At least seven people were killed in pileup crashes that happened in foggy conditions in Louisiana yesterday. State police say nearly 160 vehicles were involved in crashes on Interstate 55 just west of New Orleans. More than 25 people were taken to the hospital, some in critical condition. This is being attributed to something called super fog. Oh, that is so frightening. Brittany, what is super fog? Well, this is actually a scientific term. So it's a situation where you already have fog that exists, but it also mixes in with the smoke from local wildfires. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing that makes this so dangerous is the type of brush and vegetation that was burned at this point. It was a very marshy area, mm -hmm. and that type of vegetation just released more moisture into the air, and it made the wow. existing fog even worse. So just exacerbating Ooh, the so issue. What was burning exactly yes. is what caused this. So what was burning is key. And usually when you think of wildfires, you think of just very dry conditions. Mm -hmm. uh, but in this type of situation, it's a bit unique because Louisiana, especially in this part of Louisiana, very marshy and very swampy. But uh, they've been dealing with an unprecedented wildfire season so far this year. You can see uh, just how dense that fog is looking at the sky cam. And it just makes visibility so low, low enough, as we could see from the video and the fatality that it was a yeah. dangerous situation. Uh, I believe, is this a live view from Louisiana? So the fog has cleared this morning, even though they had a dense fog advisory earlier in the day. And unfortunately, the super fog, uh, this is something that they potentially could have to deal with again uh, again over the next couple of weeks. And uh, this is why going over to the maps, they had that dense fog advisory. It expired around 9 to 10 a.m. So seeing it for certain parts near Baton Rouge. But on top of that, they just had such a bad wildfire season. This is one of the reasons why you can see the drought monitor. They are at the top level of drought. So this is exceptional drought that that covers most of the state of Louisiana, also Mississippi, and they're not not going to see any relief anytime soon.